Imagine a world without touch. A world where reaching out with your hands feels like nothing. How would that make you feel? Like a ghost observing, watching the world go by. No hugs or high fives. What if you were told the typical adult spends two days a week in this world? On our phones, on our laptops, online, in VR, AR, XR. We are entering the digital world en masse, sharing three billion images every day, but leaving the sense of touch behind. What would it mean if you could shake hands over Skype, feel fabrics in online clothes shops, shrink down and feel atomic forces in a high school physics lesson, sculpt with virtual clay you can actually push and shape with your fingers. What if we told you these technologies already exist? In the psychology of perception, it's said that first we see, and then to confirm what we've seen, we reach out and touch. Only then does something become truly real. Our sense of touch is so integral to who we are and how we function, minute by minute, day by day. We take it completely for granted. Yet, we all accept that when we log on, we leave the sense of touch at the digital doorstep. At Generic Robotics, we know the digital world won't realise its full potential until the sense of touch is as readily accessible as sight and sound is today. The term used to refer to technologies that recreate the sense of touch is haptics. Few people realise, but haptic technologies were in use 20 years before the first computer monitor in industries such as nuclear for remote handling. Fast forwarding now to 2022, and there are a huge array of different kinds of haptic hardware and software products, all incompatible, intended for different applications, budgets, and expertise. This is a real problem. Working with haptic technologies is unnecessarily complicated. Deployment is even worse, making route to market a challenge for everyone and holding back innovation and growth. This is where we come in. Generic Robotics are creating both software and hardware platforms that aggregate haptics technologies, standardize workflows, and put the power in the hands of designers, not engineers. We are building the underlying technologies that enable designers to create realistic, touchable digital experiences that are easy to deploy to users to experience with the minimum of complexity. Every now and then, a technology comes along which is truly cross-sector, and haptics is one of these. Almost every industry can benefit from better, more effective, and more intuitive ways to interact with computers. The big tech companies are betting on the future where we spend the majority of our digital existence in highly immersive virtual worlds, and they're pumping billions of dollars into creating content for the so-called metaverse. Haptics is a fundamental enabling technology for the metaverse. Without it, the range of potential applications and the richness of experiences will be severely limited. Hi, I am Alistair Barrow, CEO of Generic Robotics. I'm Tom Smith, CTO and co-founder of Generic Robotics. The team here at Generic Robotics have been working with these technologies for a long time. I started my PhD in haptics in 2003. I started out in academia researching haptics and have spent a decade in research and development. We cut our teeth, if you like, building the technology for the first large-scale proof of haptics technologies used in education, which went on to be active use for over 10 years, training hundreds of future dentists. Moving on, working at and with some of the world's leading universities, we were painfully aware we were reinventing the wheel over and over again, and could see the same mistakes being made in the commercial products we were using as well. More than that, we knew the technology had far more potential than the few niche academic areas it was being applied to, but there were and still are no good general purpose haptic platforms out there. We started our journey to bring haptics into the mainstream nearly 10 years ago working on the technology alongside consultancy projects, supported by grant funding. And by 2016, we were ready to take on our first round of investment. So we hired a team and got stuck in. We had no idea just how dramatically the world was gonna to pivot towards immersive experiences and a need for our technologies just a few years later. With so many different manufacturers and types of haptic interface on the market, serving a wide range of different application areas and sectors, from VR gloves to robotic interfaces ranging from £100 to hundreds of thousands of pounds each, even wearables like vests which give electrical impulses direct to the muscles, there's a really high barrier for entry just getting started working with touch technologies. 
On top of that, there is a great deal of specialist engineering knowledge required to get the best out of a haptic device. Graphics and audio have well-established software tools that let designers' creative imaginations run free, but when it comes to touch, not only are there no design-led tools, there isn't even consistency between manufacturers. So where does that leave us? We need to make haptic technology accessible. We need to get it into the hands of creators, makers, designers, People with big ideas who only need the right tools to unlock the full potential of touch-enabled digital experiences. Our flagship software platform, Toya, does just that. Toya is both a middleware platform and a set of design tools. It solves the route-to-market problem for new hardware developers by having Toya support any new haptic interface immediately has compatible applications and an active developer base. Likewise, by using Toya to add the sense of touch to an application, game or educational product, the developer and their users are free to work with any supported device benefiting from greatly simplified deployment, maintenance, and ongoing support for their end users. On the hardware front, our flagship platform, Simutouch, represents the future of healthcare simulation. It's the world's first general purpose, haptically enabled clinical simulator. Protected by patents and some seriously clever engineering, Simutouch can be reconfigured to support a huge range of different clinical procedures for training, planning, rehearsal, and even the development of new surgical techniques. Right now, our technology is being used to alleviate people from pain that doesn't respond to drugs, to train the next generation of surgeons, by music producers, in museums, in science education, by the visually impaired, to collaborate in online virtual maker spaces, by designers, and even in the nuclear handling and cutting edge fusion research. And yet, with all that, we haven't even scratched the surface of what can be achieved with haptically enabled digital interfaces. Haptic technology will touch every industry in one way or another. Just like the sense of touch in the real world, digital touch will form an integral part of the future of how we work, learn, communicate, create and play. Haptics is a fundamental cross-sector enabling technology directly applicable to everything from the $130 billion healthcare education market to the $80 billion robotics industry, the $50 billion VR, AR industry and even the $100 billion distance learning industry. Our approach is to not go head to head with any hardware or software developer, but to be the indispensable glue that binds everything together. Every new haptic product we help get to market, or new industry we unlock for haptics, grows our market share, which in turn attracts more users and hardware developers to our platform. Haptics is and continues to be deep tech. It's taken a long time to get where we are, but after a lot of hard work, over a million in R&D grant funding, a million in equity, and many collaborative projects proving out the technology in all sorts of application areas. We've now transitioned to the commercial phase of our journey. We are yet to see the world's first haptic unicorn, but investment in haptics and haptic-enabled products has jumped up dramatically in the last 12 months. We've had fantastic support already from the technology community, academics, creatives, and especially our early investors. And we're now inviting the wider community to be a part of the next stage of our journey as we scale up and out, bringing the digital world quite literally within everyone's reach.